does doubt begin? Many times when we talk about doubt, we talk about it as if it had its beginning in me. I have doubts. If I only had more evidence, more empirical, physical proof, then I could overcome it and I could believe. Well, jump with me into Mr. Peabody's Wayback Machine and let's go visit our first parents in the garden, Adam and Eve. God did his work, his wonderful, creative work, creating Adam out of the dust of the ground and Eve from his side, man and woman, male and female, together forever as husband and wife. And he places them in the east of Eden, in the great garden that he has put together. There in the garden is where doubt has its origin. The evil one, the liar, the deceiver begins to speak to Eve. He convinces her that God might not be playing fair with them. Did God really say? And there we have it, the beginning of doubt as the Satan, the evil one, begins to deceive Eve and Adam into thinking that God was less than the loving God that he had shown himself to be. Eve and Adam finally gave in. They ate. They did what God said not to do. And now they knew good and they knew evil. Not evil from God, but evil from what they did. And the result of that, they hid. They ran away from God, separated themselves from all that was good, and now they lived in fear. But watch what God does. Even in the midst of their doubt and their fear and their sin, God seeks them out. Where are you? God asks. He didn't ask it because he didn't know. He gave them the opportunity to come to him and to repent. God seeks out doubtful Eve and Adam. God comes to them not to destroy them, but to give them hope and promise and to restore them again. As God comes to Eve and Adam, he comes with hope. A Savior, a son will be born into the world and he will pay the price for their doubt and their fear. He will pay the price for their sin and ours as well. You see, dear friends, there's a progression that happens when we talk about doubt. First, doubt begins with doubting God's word and then it moves to a rejection of God's word. All the while, we pull ourselves away and then from there, the evil one tries to establish in us, a new truth, a truth that we live by ourselves. But even as God sought out Adam and Eve in the garden, so he continues to seek us out as well, coming to us in our doubts and fears to strengthen us with his word and his promise and his word of peace for you. 